Weekly.com's coverage of the Outlaw 200. We're here with second place finisher in heat race number seven, driver of the 99J, Baldwinsville, New York's Jimmy Phelps. Jimmy, talk to us about that heat race. You drew pretty well. You had a guaranteed spot going to tonight's big 200 lapper, but you still wanted to make sure you made a statement in your heat race, finishing second. Yeah, we wanted to see what we had on this condition. You know, that was a big thing. We wanted to win the heat. You know, we were trying there at the end. We just got a little behind early and, and didn't quite get to striking distance soon enough, but... Uh, I was pretty happy with our race car. You know, it took a few laps to get going, but I was really happy with what we had there towards the towards the end of the heat. So I think we're all right. Notice that the, towards the end of the heat, you did go high. You tried to run the middle a little bit and come back low, trying to catch up to the winner of that heat race. What did we learn in those in those closing laps that we're going to be able to carry over in tonight's 200 lapper? Well, when you get yourself off the the, the cushion or you know off the very bottom and you start running in the black, you know, you kind of see what your car's doing in the conditions we're probably going to be running in in the 200 so yeah. i was happy with it in the slick and and that's what matters right now so we'll make the you know a few minor adjustments and i think we'll be all right speaking of making adjustments making changes big changes going on just west of here at the weedsport speedway you and your family have got to be awfully proud of what's taking place this coming wednesday night a brand new era in weedsport new york talk to us about that and how that impacts you the felts family and also what you're doing on the um uh, tommy baldwin racing side of things the hanky baldwin side of your racing extravaganza uh you know it's just it's a new venture for us you know everybody from uh you know hbr and 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 my family and we're just kind of we're kind of jumping in with both feet and just you know first and foremost focusing on this wednesday night super dirt series 358 show uh you know and then from there you know just try to build up a pretty good schedule for next year and you know do some necessary improvements and uh i guess at the the very least bring the place back and 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 try to you know get it functioning again and you know, with any luck, try to get it back to its original glory from years ago, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm just real excited to be a part of it. I mean, I got to thank Gail Hanke for, you know, for giving me the opportunity to, to help him with this venture. And uh, my family's been great. My dad's, uh, you know, right alongside us. And, you know, it's been a family affair over there getting ready for the Wednesday night deals. So it's been it's been a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, hopefully it's going to be rewarding. And we'll hopefully have a great crowd and a, a great race on Wednesday night. Just in the name alone, you guys brought back the Weedsport speedway moniker not cayuga county fair speedway or anything else was that something that you guys consciously did or hey we got to name it something but you guys really harken back to the old days at the port i you know i don't think it was anything we planned on doing until uh, uh once the deal got done and and uh you know i was the official owner and we got looking around the property but if you if you look close and i don't think people really real a lot of people haven't realized that when you walk in the front gate of that place or the the, the front overhang entrance at the road and you look up, there's probably a 50-year-old Weed Sport Speedway uh, cut out of steel mounted up on a thing. And, uh, and uh, it, it, it's kind of an eye-opener, you know, because that's, that's what it originally was intended to be. And, uh, you know, the Cuga County Fair is a great organization, and, and we're hoping to do a lot of wonderful things with them. But uh, on race day, it's Weed Sport Speedway, and that's just, you know, happy to, happy to bring that back. And we're, we're really happy about the response that we've gotten from the fans. So it's been good. Jimmy Phelps has a lot on his plate. First and foremost tonight is a big win in the Outlaw 200. Jimmy Phelps, driver of the 99J out of Baldwinsville, New York.